Now to the 95th annual Oscars that you saw only here on ABC 7. It was all out dominance by everything everywhere all at once. The film was a front runner coming in and ended as the story of the night. Everything everywhere all at once. You just won best picture. The film actually made its U.S. premiere in San Francisco at the Castro Theater. Tonight, it won seven Oscars, more than any other movie from this year. But if you really want to know what the night was like, well, just ask it. ABC 7 News anchor Dion Lim, who was there this evening, and she's live for us now on that champagne carpet in Hollywood. Dion. Hey there, Amma. Covering the Oscars is always exciting, a little bit chaotic, and I haven't been back since 2020 before the pandemic. I noticed there have been a lot of changes, including, of course, the carpet color change, but the fact that there are few people, meaning better accessibility to the stars and more opportunities for some magical moments. Before the carpet closed for Hollywood royalty Oscars morning, it was all about last minute touches to the champagne carpet and glamming it up for the cam. And you really never know who you'll run into. How do you get ready for the Oscars? <laughs> With tequila, you want some? Oh, um, I'm pregnant. Sorry, it's your last. At about 1.30, the media is told to get off the carpet and make way for the stars. So we do whatever we can to land an interview. Oh is this made of chocolate because I'm ravenous right now? These are chocolate Oscars which are covered in 24 karat gold. We made three thousands of them, so everybody who's gonna come to the governor's ball will get one. If the baby is a boy, you call him Wolfgang, okay? Wolfie, yeah, Wolfie. you have a deal. Jamie Lee Curtis, who was nominated for her very first Oscar in her 45-year career, came to us. I asked her what took so long. What took so long? You're going to know your fate in just a couple of hours. My fate was the good luck and good fortune of being able to work on this movie. Before we knew it, all the stars made their way into the Dolby Theater, and it was time to watch the show. For the first time in each category, there's been a nominee born outside the U.S. And right away, Kihi Kwan, who we saw on the carpet, made this heartfelt acceptance speech for taking home the statue for Best Supporting Actor. My mom is 84 years old, and she's at home watching. Mom, I just want an Oscar. This is the American dream. And someone else's good fortune continued. I just want an Oscar. Stephanie Sue, who also starred alongside Jamie Lee Curtis, didn't win, but still expressed her gratitude just to be nominated, and sent this message to those at a Bay Area watch party who rooted for everything, everywhere, all at once. I love the Bay, and I hope there's, like, hella good Asian food at that party. <laughs> you can bet there was a lot of good food at that party. By the way, it is such a blessing to be able to witness all of this. So many firsts at the Academy Awards. Ama, as much as I would like to stick around and chat with you, we have such an early day tomorrow. We are catching up with Kelly and Ryan. They're after the Oscars show is back for the first time since the pandemic. So we will be up and early at 3.30 in the morning. Ooh. So with that, yes. I say that's a wrap. <laughs> Live in Hollywood tonight, I'm Dion Lim. ABC 7 News. Yeah, great work. Go get some sleep, Dion. <laughs>